Hey everyone, welcome back to Spunt, where we dive deep into the most groundbreaking stories shaping our world. Today, we're tackling a powerhouse topic, China's staggering clean energy growth. Did you know that in just the first half of this year, China added as much clean power generation as the entire UK produces in a whole year? Yep, you heard that right. Let's break down what's happening, why it matters, and what it means for the global fight against climate change. Stick around, it's going to be an electrifying ride. China, the world's largest emitter of greenhouse gases, is now racing ahead in the renewable energy game. But how exactly did they manage to add such a massive amount of clean energy in such a short time? Let's look at the numbers. In just the first six months of this year, China added a whopping 150 gigawatts of new solar and wind capacity. To put that into perspective, that's equivalent to the entire electricity output of the UK from all energy sources combined for the same period last year. But this isn't just about numbers. This marks a significant shift in the global energy landscape. Let's talk about what's driving this surge. China's commitment to clean energy isn't just a matter of catching up with the rest of the world. It's about leading the charge. In 2023 alone, China set a new record by installing 293 gigawatts of wind and solar power. That's enough to power millions of homes and businesses. And it's more than just impressive, it's transformative. But why is this happening now? Why is China, traditionally reliant on coal, making such a dramatic pivot to clean energy? Well, there are several key factors at play here. First up, government policy. China's leadership has recognized the urgent need to transition to a low-carbon economy, and they're backing this with aggressive policies and massive investments in clean energy infrastructure. We're talking billions of dollars aimed at not just building new solar and wind farms, but also at upgrading the grid to better handle this influx of renewable energy. Next, economic incentives. China's clean energy boom isn't just good for the planet, it's good for business. The country has established itself as a global leader in green technology, from solar panels to electric vehicles. This leadership translates into economic advantages that are too significant to ignore. Speaking of electric vehicles, China is also making waves in this sector. In July alone, hybrids and fully electric cars made up more than half of all new models sold in the country. This shift isn't just a trend, it's a clear indication that China is serious about reducing its reliance on fossil fuels across the board. But the clean energy push doesn't stop with cars. The steel industry, one of the largest emitters of carbon dioxide, is also undergoing a significant transformation. For the first time, no new permits for coal-fired plants were issued in the first half of this year. That's a huge step forward for an industry that has historically been a major polluter. So, with all these advancements, some analysts are starting to wonder, has China's carbon emissions already peaked? It's a big question. And if the answer is yes, it could be a game-changer for global climate efforts. China has been responsible for about a quarter of the world's carbon emissions, roughly equivalent to the combined emissions of all developed countries. But as we've seen, that narrative is starting to change. In March of this year, CO2 emissions from energy use and cement production the two biggest contributors to China's carbon footprint, began to decline. This marks the first time we've seen a quarterly decline since China's economy reopened after the strict zero-Covid policy lockdowns. 
According to the Center for Research on Energy and Clean Air, CREA, power sector emissions dropped by about 3%, while emissions from cement production fell by 7%. Even oil consumption saw a decline of 3%. If these trends continue, we could very well see 2023 as the peak year for China's emissions, a pivotal moment in the global fight against climate change. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. While these developments are incredibly promising, it's important to remember that coal still plays a massive role in China's energy landscape. In 2023, coal provided 60% of China's power. And yes, while the rate of new coal plant construction is slowing down, with only 8 gigawatts added in the first half of this year, the fact remains that China is still building new coal plants. This brings us to a critical point, capacity versus generation. Just because a country has the capacity to produce a certain amount of clean energy doesn't mean that's what's actually being generated and used. In China, there's often a mismatch between the two. Economic and political factors sometimes lead to the construction of power plants that don't operate at full capacity. This means the actual impact on emissions could be less than what these impressive capacity numbers might suggest. So, what does this all mean for the future? Well, it's clear that China is at a crossroads. On one hand, we have a clean energy future that's rapidly taking shape. On the other, there's the entrenched reliance on coal, which continues to be a significant challenge. This year's COP29 UN Climate Summit will be a crucial moment for China and the world. It's where countries will be asked to draw up new national emissions cutting plans under the Paris Agreement. But what happens next could hinge on the outcome of the US election, just a few days before the summit. If the US stays committed to the Paris Agreement, China will come under intense pressure to agree to even more stringent emissions cuts. If not, well, the future could look very different. To sum it all up, China's clean energy surge is nothing short of remarkable. It's a story of rapid transformation, driven by government policy, economic incentives, and a growing recognition of the need to address the climate crisis. But it's also a story that's still unfolding, with many challenges and uncertainties ahead. So, what do you think? Is China on the path to becoming a global clean energy leader? Or will coal continue to hold it back? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to Spunt, and ring the bell so you never miss an update on the stories that matter most. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.